Hello, this is Dr. Carr. I'm going to talk about two concepts today for my existing patients. Uh, one is the timing of laboratory tests, and the other is uh, how and where to apply hormone creams. Now, as far as the timing of tests, most of the time what I want to see is what I call the trough level. The, the trough level is the level of hormone at its low point uh, during the cycle which you're taking it. So, for example, if you're taking weekly shots, I want to get the lab test done when the next shot is actually due, or the day before. So if you're taking your testosterone shot on a Friday, then I want to see the testosterone level either Thursday afternoon or preferably Friday morning. Okay. If you're taking creams, then I want to get the, what I would call the 24-hour trough. So uh, by that I mean do not take the cream on the day of testing at all. You can take it the previous day, whether it's one, two, or three times a day, if it's Prescribe to take it in the evening, still take it in the evening. But when you get up in the morning, take a shower, or wash off on your residual cream, and then do not put on the cream before you go get your labs done. Of course, when you come home, you can put the cream on. And then as far as pills, the same concept applies. If you're taking thyroid pills or other hormones by mouth, and I order tests, then do not take those pills on the morning of testing. Now, as far, as far as whether these tests have to be done fasting or not, for the most part, the answer to that is no. If I want to see them fasting, that will be indicated on the sheet. Uh, occasionally, I want to see fasting cortisol levels or a fasting blood sugar or fasting cholesterol. But for the most part, I just want to see the hormone levels in the non-fasting state. So you can eat and uh, drink and have coffee or whatever you like to do in the morning on the day of testing for those hormones. Uh, the second concept I want to address is where to put the hormone creams. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation about this. And here's the general concept. When we have a hormone cream like this, which is a paste, this is progesterone, and we uh, apply this, the hormone has to, of course, go through across the skin into the blood vessels. So the criteria for where to apply it is that we want to have the hormone cream on a very thin skin area. Uh, that is an area where there will be easy absorption across the uh, skin and also an area where there are a lot of blood vessels just below the surface. Uh, so, for example, sometimes people are told you could put it on the thighs or behind the knees. I don't recommend that. I mean, most of us have an ample amount of fat in our thighs and we don't want the hormone sitting in the fatty layers there. We want the hormone, again, getting into the bloodstream. So the best place to do that is in the upper inner arm, okay? This area of the arm where the sun doesn't shine meets the criteria because the skin is thin. You can see the blood vessels right under the surface, okay? So if somebody's on three different creams, I'll tell them, put the progesterone on the forearm, the estrogen if it's a woman on the upper inner arm right in this area, and then they can use put the testosterone on the other upper inner arm right in this area. Okay, um, not the thighs, not the chest, not the neck. You'll get some absorption there, but the absorption is not good at all. It's quite variable. And again, the whole idea being, if you remember, this hormone has to go through the skin and get into the blood vessels. You'll remember that we want to put it on an area of thin skin with blood vessels right underneath the surface, okay? So uh, hopefully that helps clear up some of the confusion. I know there's some pharmacists that are telling people you can put it on your thighs and your neck and your shoulders and your chest. Uh, it's just not true. I see when, 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 when people put uh, these hormones uh, on those different areas of the body, the absorption is not good. And I can tell that because I checked the blood tests. It happened today where a woman's been on Biest, which is a, a bioidentical estrogen cream, consisted of estradiol and estriol. And I checked her blood levels, and uh, they were very low. So I asked her, I said, yeah, I, you're not using the bias." She goes, oh, yeah, I'm using it. And I said, well, it's not showing up. Where are you putting it? And she said, well, I'm rubbing it on the inner part of my thighs. So the estrogen is just sitting in her fat cells, for the most part, and not get into the bloodstream where it needs to be. Okay, so again, upper inner arms, you've got basically four application sites. Both lower forearms and both upper inner arms meet the criteria for good absorption.